And God knows that I am the girl I am because of you. Damn. 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 I've called myself hero too many times, so this time it's gonna be savior. Heading to work again. One of the co-workers is having an emergency, so I figured, you know, the nice thing to do is to cover for that. Actually, one thing I wanted to do, if I don't have any other material for this vlog, uh, this is gonna be the material, I guess. We're gonna be listening to Olivia Rodrigo's Guts, but it's the, the spilt version. It is the deluxe. She's got five songs here. We got Girl I've Always Been, Scared of My Guitar, Me Too, Obsessed, Girl I've Always Been, Scared of My Guitar, Stranger, and So American. We gotta get the fuck out of here, dude. I just over the toilet. I actually just got done with my morning shift, so... Oh, she released a music video for So Obsessed. Alright. Olivia Rodrigo stops at Culver's while in Wisconsin. Uh, who cares? What is it called again? Spilt. Oh yeah, because, you know, you sp when you spill your guts. Like I said, we had our first listen, so I can kind of just, like, listen to the music, but now we can actually analyze the music itself, or the lyrics itself. You know how much I love Bro, the, the, come on, son. She's talented, she's good with kids, she even speaks. Oh, bro. I'm listening to Olivia Rodrigo right now. Come on, alright? Any other dates? But every time you call my name, I think you mistake me for her. You're That's such an Olivia Rodrigo line, too. This hook is fucking fire. Damn! Alright, so this is the bridge. I know she's like really good at making bridges, so I, I mean, god, th this is like insanely vulnerable. I'm assuming she's broken up with this guy, but I'm not really sure. Either she's broken up with this guy or just like in the relationship, but she can't get over the fact that like his ex was so much prettier or better or whatever. But either way, no one would ever really sing about that, and I appreciate the honesty. I appreciate the vulnerability. And the way she does this too, and it's such a slapper. It's it slaps. I can't I can't lie to you. Damn. Damn, Olivia. You're really upset. You're really upset that this guy- Man. The thing is with that, it's just like, most of the time, this is how I look at it as well. I've had a few people, I'll say. But like, all the way from the beginning, and I think that every time that I, you know, have another partner, I always think they're upgrades of the last one. And that's just fact. I understand where she's coming from, but also like, Girl, you gotta realize that, like, if you're the current girlfriend right now, you an upgrade from the last ones. Come on, son. That might not work for some people, but to me, hey, that's, that's how I think. Let's talk about this bridge here. Not too long of a bridge, it's kind of like a very simple one. Is she friends with your friends? Is she good in bed? Uh, Jesus Christ. That in many of the songs from Olivia Rodrigo's uh, debut sour, Olivia played the role of the ex-girlfriend obsessing over her ex's new girlfriend. In this song, the concept is the same, but Olivia is now in the role of the new girlfriend. So, okay, so she is together with this guy. So Olivia has already answered the question she asked here in Happier. Ah, we broke up a month ago. Your friends are mine. You know, I know you moved on from someone new. I love Happier. Is she friends with your friends? Is she good in bed? She would not say this in Sour. Do you think about her? No? I'm fine. It doesn't matter. Tell me. Is she easygoing? Never controlling? well traveled, well read. Oh god, she makes me so upset. Hun, you don't gotta worry about that, bro. Don't worry about that too much. But I get her point, though, because it's like, from the, like, the past album, it just seems like her relationships has always, have always just been skewed. You know what I mean? Always been a problem, so, you know, trust issues, whatever, all that kind of stuff. Either way, banger of a track. That's gonna be on the rotation, probably. Next one. Girl, I've always been. But I got you. Shut the fuck. Bro, this sounds like a Harry Styles track. Um, Canyon Moon. <laughs> Baby doll, you have changed. That's the thing you always say. Cur Leave his ass. But what the fuck was that? Baby doll, you have changed. What? Who the fuck says that? Just, just from that alone, leave his ass. Now you're on my couch. You're fighting tears. You say I'm cruel beyond my years. Womp womp. Wait, wait, wait. 
Okay. I thought that she said, like, he can't say that she's a perfect 10. That would be bad. Because if you can't say that your girl's a perfect 10, you were brother. Brother, you, uh, you, you, what the hell? But she's saying that, you know, she's not perfect, but she's, she sticks to her morals. Fair enough. Little country? Alright, someone's there. Interrupting my session again, man, god damn Nice. Nice. I like that. It's um, kind of like a reply to this guy that they're that she's talking about where like I definitely know about this in like some relationships where like the guy either the guy or the girl would like change I guess even though nothing's really changed. They're just adjusting to their partner. Yeah adjusting because you know It's a whole new person and then their partner would take it as like oh you've changed and use that as a weapon to like I don't know to just start an argument or something even though that only in some cases that that's like a valid point where like if the person's genuinely changing for like the worst yeah, fair, but like, just because two people get together and like, adjust themselves for each other, like, doesn't mean that they're like, changing, you know, in a bad way. Olivia Rodrigo's basically saying, hey, I ain't perfect, but I've always been that per same person, sticking to my, sticking to my guns, you know what I mean? It's a good message, I like it. That's ludicrous. Shut up, ludicrous, goddamn. This is scared of my guitar. Perfect, easy, so good to me, in the shape of you, distract. Oh shit. You know when you're like best friends with your instruments? I, I wouldn't know about this because I'm like I'm only learning the instrument, but especially like a guitar or something. When you're going through stuff, I know a lot of people definitely like lean towards guitar or you know whatever instrument that they play to kind of release emotions and i'm guessing the main culprit of that is the guitar i'm not sure if she was like referring to a guy or like perfect easy so good to me i don't know if she's talking about a guy or like the guitar but like that's kind of how to how you describe it whenever you need something to lean on and you know how to like play an instrument like the guitar or something you release all that emotions and stuff and most of the time it kind of goes on autopilot and you just start playing really sad songs i haven't experienced that but i guess i can kind of relate to it and when it comes to singing that's that's an instrument vocals are an instrument let's say you know someone passed in your life you lean towards music a lot of the times you listen to like sad songs or sometimes you listen to the opposite where like you listen to happy songs but either way the same kind of applies to musical instruments like the guitar oh what the hell Let's kind of break that down a little bit. If I was brave and noble like you, I'd have the nerve to just stop stringing you along. You know what that means, right? I hope. I like that it's also kind of like a, it's a double entendre, I guess, because it's, it also talks about stringing you along the strings of a guitar. But I'm not half as decent as you. I'd rather be tied to someone even if they're wrong. Low-key relatable. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'll let the song end after this, but like, what I just kind of thought of is like, it's the same way as, this relates to me too, because whenever I do go through something bad or something, like a, like a tragic thing, sometimes I avoid listening to music. I did that last year. I, I, I avoided listening to music. I was just listening to podcasts because I knew that if I listened to music, I would go straight to those like really sad songs, like the, you know, the Louis Capaldi's. Fun fact, he's one of my top artists last year. So her saying, you know, I'm so scared of my guitar. If I play it, then I'll think too hard. That's literally the same way. It's like, I'm sometimes so scared of music that like, I know I'll go straight to those sad songs. <laughs> little no analyzation sorry while we're doing this uh the bridge is actually not that long a lot of it is i pretend that it's love i pretend that it's love with my little nose up. <laughs> all right f sharp 
it goes up to F sharp, G, and then that E. Love. Nice. <laughs> I think that it creeps through all of our minds. Let's be honest here, alright? Oh, I'm so scared of my guitar. I can't lie to it the same way that I lie to you. That's, a, that's beautiful. I'm so scared of my guitar. I let the floor in It's already done, but I let you yeah, lay in your arms and pretend it's you. Beautiful. It's either like I'm really dumb about this and she's talking about the guitar the whole time or she could be mixing two together. I'm thinking that, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm thinking it's a mix. We're almost done. We got Stranger. So like far, a like a good name. really good deluxe, day? really good deluxe. I woke up this morning and I sat up straight in bed. Uh -huh. Had the strangest feeling of this weight off of my chest. Uh -huh. I hadn't felt that hopeful since. The day that you left and it felt nice. nice And I always believed that it was some comforting lie But it feels nice Cause I was half myself without you Now I feel so complete Nice Now you're just a stranger I know everything Okay, very upbeat. A lot of it, it's just when you go through a breakup and stuff, there's always that like, if it's like a really bad one, fuck you this, fuck you that, you know, and like, you know, I, I wish you the best, but you know, like I'll never give back to you again. I don't want you anymore. All that kind of stuff. That was a little too detailed, my bad. There's always that big phase, whether it be either a month, two months, three months, whatever. And then there's just that one day that it's like, damn, fuck that bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Man, I feel so much better without them, you know? And... This is that day. This is that day for Olivia Rodrigo, apparently. Trying when you love her, did that happen? Like doing all that stuff for just some guy. Just some guy. Oh, nice. Yeah, the realization, like, the part of, like, breaking out of that, like, I guess, uh, sad state. It's like, a lot of it's, like, realization. Like, damn, what the fuck did I do? You know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, you're just some guy. God knows that I am the girl. And God knows that I am the girl I am because of you. Damn. 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 It just started like calculating in my head as I, <laughs> as I said it. You are the best thing that I'll ever keep so far of my life. Yeah, uh, it's, just, it's, just, it's just one of those, man. Damn. Uh, you know, I'll always think of you. I'll love you till the end of time. You're the best thing that I'll ever keep so far out of my life. Myself without you, I feel so complete. I There's nothing left for me to know. There's nothing left for me. Okay, so apparently this guy, well, that's been the past two albums. The guy breaks up with Olivia. Nice. There's nothing left for me to know. I had to stay. You had to go. This is a nice little bridge, by the way. And it was mean, but it doesn't matter anymore now. See, all the big words, all like the the metaphors, all that kind of stuff that she's been saying, the big the big girl words, uh, she still had to add the, and it was mean. So she still has got that little girl in her, you know what I mean? There's nothing left for me to sing. I screamed and cried. I did the whole thing. And I loved you mad, but it doesn't matter anymore. No. Yep, that's literally realizing that, like, they weren't worth it. And if I'm not enough for you, you're not enough for me. All a million dollars, but you can't get yeah, I was gonna say, is that like a, I fought a million battles, but you can't get to me now. Is that like a, can't catch me now? Yeah, okay, that's from, can't catch me now. Ooh. I like that abrupt end. Dirt. Last one. So American. Oh, what the fuck? Right An echoey. He says I'm or reverb. And he's got hands there. Make him seem cold. He's like a polar shell. I feel I'm still my dreams. And he says I'm so American. And I'm gonna marry him. And he keeps this shit off. Oh, God, I'm so cold. Shit. 
called The Books You Read. Isn't that a reference to... Yep, enough for you. I read all your self-help books, so you think that I was smart. Yeah. Nice. What a transition all the way from like being strangers with someone to now this song is all about this guy is so amazing. I, you know, th this guy is a, uh, I talk about him a lot. However, I'm not good enough. A lot of people definitely feel like that. Sometimes I feel like that too. Olivia's partner is so great, but like Olivia doesn't feel like she deserves him. She doesn't feel like she deserves him. The guy is so great. Wow, what a, what a nice switch up, right? <laughs> Alright, bridge time, let's go. This is a great conclusion, ladies and gentlemen. Question. Apparently, apparently this allegedly could be about Olivia Rodrigo's current boyfriend, Louis Partridge. Only allegedly, so no, uh, we ain't gonna be theorizing about that. But I have a question, Olivia Rodrigo. How many months have you been dating this guy? Out of all the songs that I've listened from you, a lot of it has been heartbreak, to say the least. And uh, you seem very, you seem very happy about this guy, but you know, it depends on how long you've been dating this guy. If you've been dating this guy for like a year, almost two years or whatever and you still feel like this about this guy great no problem but if it's only uh well she did she i guess she does doubt herself but either way i was gonna keep going if you only, if you've only been dating this guy for like a month two three months whatever don't get too ahead of yourself you feel me don't don't hurt yourself even more i might just be in love yeah that's fair at least you have that thought in the back of your head that like this guy might not be the perfect person but i'm just kind of like maybe i'm just in love driving on the right side road he says i'm pretty wearing his clothes and he's got the hands that make hell seem cold. Beat on the dashboard, he's like a poem I wish I wrote, I wish I wrote. Well, just stay with this guy and you'll definitely be uh, writing more poems about him, trust. What a great conclusion to this deluxe or spilt. Very nice, a very nice track. I like that it kind of goes through a bunch of like motions, I guess. You know, of course the heart breaks, but it's also got the... It's also got the nice little conclusion right here where she finds a guy that actually like she... She likes a lot. Can't dig on it, man. There's also a bunch of different kinds of styles of music here. Very nice. I don't even know which one my favorite is. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think right now, I think my favorite is Scared of My Guitar. I'll re-listen to this a bunch of times and uh, just see what I think of it, pretty much. Obsessed is a huge banger. That's 100% gonna be on the charts, like, period. Scared of My Guitar, man. Very nice song. We've been recording for 46 minutes. All right, let's move on to the rest of the day. All right, my bad. Ladies and gentle brothers, it is time to eat a little bit. See that? See that? See that? Come on. I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna eat way more Filipino food after this, too. You know, the good thing about Filipino food is that it will bulk you up. A lot of it's fatty foods, so my favorite part, the crunch. I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm um, gonna practice the guitar a little bit, and then edit this video. This is a bit of a long video, so I want to make sure to get it done, and I have work tomorrow morning, so I want to make sure to get it done, sleep as early as I can, all that kind of stuff. Crunch time. Yeah.